Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch your working on Wednesday. This Wednesday, I'm working on a new whip that I just started a little while ago. <laughs> um, it's still early kind of here, but uh, I'm watching TV. June's asleep in her swing, <laughs> and uh, I thought I'd start a new whip because I wanted to use up some yarn that I have here in my living room. I'm trying to clear up that space so I could get more yarn. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I pulled out some of this yarn that I got from the Dollar Tree. And it's Premier Just Yarn Worsted. And it is soft gold and light pink. Oh, oh. The two colors. So I had three of each of these, so I want to try to use them up. Oop, yes. <laughs> That's getting yarn just fell behind you guys. Um, so I was looking around on Ravelry. I typed in, you know, worsted weight and the yardage I had. And then I was just looking at patterns. And I came across a bag pattern, so I thought I would make that because it looked like a good pattern to make. So it's called the um, Huntley Gift Bag by Yarn and Chai. And uh, I actually really like Yarn and Chai. I've made a few of their patterns before. They got a lot of cute patterns. But so here it is so far. That I started. Look at it. It's textured. I got the window open because it's like it's like 60 something degrees here today. So I am soaking it up. <laughs> but I'm holding them double because this this uh, pattern almost said recipe. <laughs> You're supposed to hold worst of weight double. It makes it, you know, um, sturdier and thicker. So I, I, that's why I decided to use the two colors. So I'm holding one pink and one uh, yellow, gold, whatever together. And it kind of makes me think of like uh, strawberry lemonade or something like that. And uh, so I made, you start at the bottom with a chain and then you go around in like an oval shape and then you start building the bag up there. So there's just regular single crochet and then right here it started, I think it's called the lemon stitch, lemon peel stitch or the linen stitch. I can't remember, but it's where you do a single crochet and a half double crochet in one stitch and then you skip one and then single half in the same stitch, skip. And then you chain one turn and go back the other way doing the same thing. I can't remember what that's called. I can't remember. <laughs> it's one of those two, but uh, oh, this, the sun is really bright. You see it? I think it's turned out really pretty. So, um, I'm about a third of the way done with the bag because there's this section and then there's two other little sections and then the handle. So I'm hoping to use up most of this yarn with this bag. And then if, uh, <laughs> she's making noises. If I have yarn left over, I'll try to find some other, like maybe Amber Groomy or something to uh, use it up. Cause I'm just trying to clear off that one shelf. There's a lot of yarn there. It maybe it's gonna take me a while. <laughs> and I just put all that yarn that I got from Doris on there. But I'm using an H hook, which is a five millimeter. I'm using my little frog one. <laughs> this is a free pattern. I can't remember if I said that. I'll link it below if you want to check it out. Um, Cause I just, it'll be just another project bag. I have quite a few already, uh, but you know, there's always nice to have someone rotation or I could use it as a gift bag to someone. Like I think that's what it's meant to be a gift bag. It's, it's in the name, but it would be cute for like a, like a bath and body set for a girl. <laughs> She's making all kinds of grunts. Um, to give to them, you know, with like a loofah and some soap and stuff in there. But anyways, that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. And she's about to wake up. I know, she's making a lot of noises. <laughs> but, uh, so let me know down below what you guys are working on. Feel free to share any links or people's names or YouTube channels, anything like that. Also, let me know what you're going to make for dinner today. I always ask that because I'm always looking for ideas. I'm throwing out some chicken. I'm going to make some fried chicken, like, uh, steaks, you know, like the whole big chicken. <laughs> thing and then I'm gonna make some gravy to go over it and then make some biscuits it's gonna be like a chicken fried chicken breakfast dinner <laughs> I thought that would be good I've been wanting some fried chicken a lot lately and I'm trying really hard not to eat out constantly because after June was born we, we ate out quite a bit <laughs> but um, things are slowly get back to normal the house is still kind of messy but uh, I do laundry every single day now because there's always bibs and baby clothes that need to be washed and um, so I'm getting back into cooking and I cook most days now, but we still have some convenience foods like microwavable things. And every now and then we still do eat out because it's easier. <laughs> but and plus a restaurant that's right down the road from us just started delivery. I saw it on Facebook yesterday, so we might end up doing that one of these days. Um, I, I'm, it's probably a good thing that we don't live somewhere where we have like um, DoorDash <laughs> because I would be DoorDashing a lot. But no, nothing here delivers except the pizza places and now that restaurant on the road. <laughs> but um, it's a Greek restaurant too, so it's good. <laughs> but anyways, I'm sidetracking as per usual. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't know what else to say. Oh, Jesse had today at his school. Uh, it's Dr. Zeus's birthday today. And then so all week the school's been celebrating it. I think most schools do that because of the books. Because I know my nephew's school always does. So today was Wacky Wednesday, so we got to dress him up weird. He's wearing two different shoes. He's wearing pants and a pair of shorts over his pants. 
And then he's wearing a Spider-Man t-shirt with a Hawaiian shirt over it and a bow tie. And uh, I didn't take a picture of him before he left. But his teacher did send, put a picture of him on the app. So if I can remember to download that before I edit this, I will put that picture in there. And then, um, so he's at school. Let's see, it's a little after 12. Devin's sleeping. I'm just sitting here watching, uh, I forget how to say it. I have to think about how to say it because it's in French. <laughs> it's like uh, Versailles or something like that. I don't know how to say it. It's in French. But it's, it's an older show, I believe, and it's canceled since. There's only three seasons. I'm on season one. But um, I like binge-watching shows while I crochet. <laughs> so this is the one I started like a week ago. I'm on season season one, episode 10 now. <laughs> it's a really good show. I hate that it's been canceled, but I'm going to still watch the three seasons and uh, then find something else to watch. But uh, So me and June is just hanging out here today. She's, she's been asleep for a couple hours. And I do put her in her swing when she's sleeping during the day so that I can get stuff done. But I do check on her a million times because I know you're not supposed to let babies sleep in swings and stuff because of um, positional asphyxiation or whatever. But I do check on her a lot. And plus she makes noises the whole time she sleeps. So I know that she's okay. But she's moving right now. She's gotten a lot bigger. She weighs nine pounds now. She's already gained that much weight. And she's eating good and... She's still having a hard time keeping her pacifier in her mouth. She cannot figure out how to keep it in her mouth. She gets spit it out <laughs> uh, by accident and want it back. So we have to keep putting it in her mouth and sometimes I have to hold it for her. <laughs> but um, yeah, she still can't fit in her clothes. She's grown, she's gained weight, but she's still not gotten much bigger. She uh, She's still wearing newborn clothes and they're baggy on her. She's a lot skinnier than Jesse was. Jesse was nine pounds when he was born. So he gained weight and all got bigger. She's about to cry. So I'm going to hop off here. Anyways, let me know what you're working on down below. Let me know what you're cooking for dinner. Uh, let me know anything else you want to tell me. <laughs> I'm always up for chatting and uh, all that stuff. Also, I wanted to say, someone asked me the other day if they could email me. And it's fine. <laughs> My email is always in this, this, blah, the description box below the video. So if you ever want to email me, just shoot me an email. And if I don't reply to you in like a day or two, you might want to resend it. Because sometimes... I either don't see them or I accidentally delete them or something. Uh, so if I don't answer you in a day or two, just go ahead and shoot me another email and I'll, I'll answer you then. If I don't answer you then, you just have to try to get hold of me on Facebook or something or Instagram. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and I also want to say about comments because I get so many comments now. I used to get notifications when I got comments, but I guess now because I get so many, I don't get notifications and I don't get notifications. Like if I reply to your comment and then you reply to my reply, I don't get a notification for that. I have to actually go looking and find that. So if we're having like a conversation and I just stop replying to you, um, you might want to re-comment like a new, brand new comment because I do see new comments, but I don't see replies to comments without searching for them and it's hard to do. So if I don't answer a question or something, leave a new comment or email me or Facebook message me or Instagram me or something like that because I'll get a hold of you eventually somehow. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to hop off and work on my bag until June wakes up. I think she's waking up. She got her arms sticking straight over there. <laughs> she's so funny. But uh, I'm going to work on this some more and watch some more of this show and cook dinner later and do laundry and help Jesse with homework and all that stuff. <laughs> so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am planning on filming a video tomorrow if I get a chance. It'll be either the February roundup or it'll be the February bingo because I did bingo this 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 past month. <laughs> it's March now. <laughs> but um, so it, it'll be one of those two. Maybe, if I get a chance to film. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and get this edited real quick. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.